like the vibrations of face routine go ahead and get into the tub i'm gonna get nice by myself kind of in a rush so that's and then when we're at the shower i always make sure hello you guys welcome to my everything pamper spa routine this spa routine is everything and of course i don't do this every single day but more so like once a month i did have some time to myself my son had actually went to sleep earlier so i decided to take advantage of that i promise that you're going to be left feeling brand new inside and out if you try these products and also tips what better way than to start this routine out with a bath so i am going to take an apple cider vinegar bath and I usually do this like after I get off my period or if I just feel like I need to refresh down there. But this does help restore the natural pH balance of your downstairs area and also of your skin. So I go ahead and I sit at least for 10 to 15 minutes just to soak. And if you have time, you can sit longer than that. While that bath is filling up, I'm going to go ahead and do my oral hygiene. So starting out, I'm going to go in with my water pick and you want to use this before you brush your teeth to get all the debris out. This helps prevent odor and from getting an infection. Also great for braces, which I have. And even after braces, I'll continue using this. You can also adjust the settings on the water pick on how fast you want that pressure. But I usually put it on the highest setting just so I can. Now it's time to brush my teeth and I use the electronic sonic toothbrush and I go ahead and brush my teeth for about two minutes max every time. Also, I do go ahead and just brush my teeth myself, like move it around in there. Um, I don't feel like the vibrations of the toothbrush really does anything. I feel like I get it cleaner if I'm just doing it myself. For my mouthwash, I'm using the TheraBreath Anti-Cavity Oral Rinse. Personally, I feel like this is the best mouthwash. It leaves my breath feeling and smelling the best all day, even after I got done, you know, using the water pick and brushing my teeth. If there is still like a little odor, that just helps eliminate it. And I also do gargle for 60 seconds. And yeah, you guys, I definitely choked. Um, I cut it out, but I had threw my head back. Before I go ahead and get into the tub, I'm going to go ahead and take my daily feminine probiotics and drinking my water. I sometimes do go ahead and mix apple cider vinegar into my water, but now I'm going to take my hair, skin, and nails pills, and I've been trying to make sure I take these daily just to help with my nails and also my hair growth. And for my daily feminine probiotic, I take these azel cranberry pills. And I believe one pill is equal to three glasses of cranberry juice. I do take birth control, you guys. So I'm going ahead and just taking my daily pill. And of course, some commentary. <laughs> I went ahead and just got me a clean towel and also a hand towel and some
After soaking in that bath for 10 to 15 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and just shave my legs. I feel like I always get the best shave after I get done sitting in the bath or just sitting down and letting the water run and shaving my legs there. You know, just taking the time to shave them because you get everything. As whereas if I stand up in the shower and just I'm shaving them, I'm kind of in a rush. So I'm missing certain parts. But as you guys can see, I definitely needed a shave and I was waiting to do this hygiene pamper spa routine with you guys because I wanted to like incorporate everything into it. And for my shaving cream, I use the Satin Care. This is from Kroger. But like I said, I promise if you guys try this, you know, after you get out the tub and just take the time to shave, you will notice such a huge difference. Like your legs will be so freaking smooth. And then for my razor, I use the Kroger brand. Um, this is the first razor I've been like constantly repurchasing over and over. I believe it's a four or five blade. But yeah, and also, as you guys see, when I'm shaving my legs, I'm moving that razor up and down, up and down. I'm not lifting it up at all. I decided to get fancy for you guys and go ahead and buy myself a foot pumice. And I've never did this before, but it definitely left my feet feeling a lot smoother, of course, around the back of my heel. Now it's time to wash my hair, and so I only wash my hair one to two times a week. It depends on how oily it is. For my shampoo and conditioner, I'm using the Shimmer Lights Blonde and Silver because I do get my hair bleached, but when I don't, my usual products I use is the Mane and Tail Hair and Shampoo. I used to use those when I was younger and it made my hair grow super long. Also, since the shampoo is purple, it does get everywhere. So just be mindful of that. And then when rinsing my hair, like I have to thoroughly wash my hair out until the purple is all gone. And a tip for you guys is when you're using conditioner, make sure you're only applying it to the ends of your hair because your hair is drier at the bottom and you don't want to apply it like all over the top of your head because it'll weigh your roots down and make it look greasier after you just washed it and as you can see i'm just going ahead and running my fingers through the ends of my hair this will help when you go to get out and go to brush it it won't be as tangled while that conditioner is sitting in my hair i'm gonna go ahead and use my clarifying shampoo so now this will be the second cleanse of my hair, and this is a Healthy Scalp Clarify and Shine Shampoo Neutrogena. I've been using this for a while as well. And then I just like to take my shower scalp massager and just go ahead and massage that shampoo into my hair. I do have dry um, skin sometimes, 
or as you would say, like dandruff. So I'm going ahead and just, you know, massaging that, breaking it up. Any like, you know, oil, dirt, going ahead and just massaging that into my head. And also this does help stimulate hair growth. For my underarms, I like using a shave oil and also for my downstairs area just because I feel like I can see what I'm doing. And as you can see, a girl really needed to shave, like for real. Then my technique for shaving my arms is the same as for my legs, just shaving up and down without stopping, you know, shaving with and against the grain. I'm going to go ahead and cleanse my body twice, so I'm going in with my first cleanse so i'm using the zest body bar soap and this is my first time trying zest and i actually like it i usually use the dove brand bar soap i'm going to go ahead and exfoliate my skin with my dr till's melatonin body scrub exfoliating helps remove dead skin and also gives you a nice cleaner shave and prevents ingrown hair so i'm gonna go ahead and just exfoliate everywhere on my feet my legs my underarms just all over exfoliating just to get like that nice smooth skin and i do just want to say you want to exfoliate before you shave you know even a few days before you shave or after you shave you don't want to shave like on the same day <laughs> But um, I was in need of a full-on pamper spa routine, so I went ahead and gave you guys just that. Moving on to my second final cleanse, I'm using the Dove Relaxing Body Wash. And I love using loofahs. I know a lot of people don't like using them because they hold a lot of bacteria, but I do change mine out a lot. I don't like using hand towels because I feel like they just don't get as soapy as a loofah and I love that super soapiness. I need to go ahead and get me a back brush because it is so hard to reach back there, especially like right in the middle of your back. Moving on to the final step in my pamper shower routine, which would be cleansing my downstairs area. And this is always my last step when I get out the shower, just because you just washed your body and washed your hair. So all that soap can get downstairs and it can cause irritation. I use my Yoni wash and I'll go ahead and screenshot those products off her website. She's just a locally owned business. Her business is called Yoni J. I've been shopping with her for a few years. When I first get out the shower, I always make sure to take care of my downstairs area. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with some Neosporin if I have any cuts down there. But I actually did not. I, I did nick myself down by my ankle. I always do that. For my backside area, I'm going to go ahead and spray some witch hazel on a little paper towel and just go ahead and wipe back there. This helps prevent odors. Now I'm using the facial moisturizing lotion. I have a little tip for you guys as well. If you do use acne products like me, don't apply that facial moisturizing lotion just go ahead and apply those acne products onto your skin. Now for my niacinamide drops. I've been trying to incorporate more stuff into my everyday skincare routine. So this just helps, there's a lot of benefits to it, but my top three are, it helps improve your skin texture, minimize pores, and my fave calms down redness on your face, and I have a lot of red.
when my hair is dry, I do apply an oil to the ends. This is the Me Ill oil. And then I'm just drinking the rest of that water. Get your water in. Yes. But yeah, you guys, that concludes the end of this pamper spa routine. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.